Senator Whitehouse. Mr. Chairman, I'll, uh, for purposes of brevity, I'll associate myself with the remarks of the three colleagues who preceded me. I would note that I am uh, not a never Trump nomineer. Um, I have voted for a lot of Trump judges, including some recommended by members of this committee. This one, you all saw, is a bizarre case. I felt like we'd slipped into the Dr. Strangelove movie during his testimony. I challenge anyone to describe a candidate for judicial office who was more arrogant and more evasive than Mr. Menashe. He frustrated Republicans and Democrats alike. He was like a guy who knew that he wasn't going to have to answer committee questions when he came in which says something very unfortunate about this committee. When this committee is such a weak forum that a candidate like this can come in and simply blow off questions from both sides of the aisle, we have some blame on that. It's not just a question of Mr. Menashe being bizarre, arrogant, and evasive. This also speaks to this committee. The article that Senator Leahy put into the record shows that on the rare occasions when his legal advice is sought in any official capacity, since he's never tried cases and doesn't seem to have any actual practice experience, he's a calamity. He lost and lost. He was wrong and wrong. He's got his secretary held in contempt following his advice about the loan forgiveness procedure. The guy is a calamity. And I'll close by saying we would not be here if it had not been for the disassembly of the blue slip procedure. Yes, it can be a nuisance to have to deal with home state senators who claim an interest in a circuit court seat that we traditionally see as associated with their state. Yes, it can mean that it slows down nominees, but it also removes the real wackos and eccentrics. And I submit to you that this character qualifies.